Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel and you like home theater, audio, and video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up on the video. Today, we are going to do a quick review of the Samsung LSP9T. This is the triple laser ultra short throw projector. Is it the best ultra short throw on the market right now? Stay tuned, we're gonna find out right after the intro. All right guys, hopping right into it. The Samsung LSP9T is the uh, flagship model for Samsung's ultra short throw projectors. They also have a single laser DLP based version um, that we won't dig into on this video. Um, it is also available. We're gonna talk about the triple laser um, Samsung, the 9T um, in the Premier line in this video. Um, so starting off, let's just talk about some things that this projector does great because it does do a lot of things that are very good. Um, one thing that I did notice on this unit that, um, that did a lot better than others is motion handling. And a lot of people can say, well, what, what does that mean exactly? Whenever you're watching action movies or fast-paced sports, uh, soccer, basketball, heck, even golf when they're swinging the club, I mean, the motion handling on this unit to, to portray that onto the screen um, and just look smooth and crisp um, and not stuttery or lost. You know, Samsung does a great job with that. Um, even in their TVs, they have some of the best motion handling and processing uh, that's out there uh, if they could only do OLED TVs. But um, getting back to this unit, you know, the motion handling is great. It's kind of a signature with Samsung. The colors, are kind of all over the place. And um, I do think this is the best unit that you can get right now, but there is a little bit to it. So you have to take this thing out of Vivid. Um, right out of the box, if it's in Vivid picture mode, it's not going to look good at all. Um, the pinks, the reds are gonna look super intense and blushy and pinkish. Um, they're not going to look natural. They're not going to look realistic. You do need to kick this thing down into a cinematic uh, or cinema mode rather and um, get that picture quality adjusted a little bit. And that's what I did when I tested all these units is I put it into cinema mode. Um, I turned off all the you know contrast enhancing and all the extra features. Um, but with that being said, once you get this thing into cinema, cinema mode, things look more natural. They're still vibrant. They're still crisp. Um, the corner to corner sharpness on the screen is incredible. It's, it's better than the LG or Epson. Um, a great thing that I did love about this unit as it has an electronic focus. So you don't have to manually adjust the lens and I kind of explained it in a previous video, but it's kind of hard and difficult to get it dialed in with a manual ring. You're either relying on yourself or someone to tell you when to stop or you're telling that person when to stop when it's in focus for your eyes standing back or you're, you know, having to do it by yourself leaning back and you know, it's hard to do that on a 120 inch, 100 inch screen from an arm length away. So being able to just sit there on your remote, stand back where you're gonna be watching the movie or setting and just get it dialed in from the couch, super convenient. And uh, I do love that um, about this unit. As far as setup goes, they do make it pretty easy with um, their millimeter um, sheet that comes with it. Um, millimeters is a lot better than inches. <laughs> um, you know, three sixteenths of an inch, or you know, it's just easier to do it in millimeters to get this uh, screen lined up um, on on the wall, and then how far it needs to go back. So um, this thing can sit very, very close to the wall, which is another great feature about this unit. You don't need a whole lot of space to get a huge image. 
I mean, I, I couldn't say more um, good things about it. The sound is better um, with their sound beam uh, beam forming technology. You know, for all the stickers out there, if this is going into your living room and it's replacing a TV, you're probably going to notice a difference in sound quality. This is going to sound better than that TV that you had. Um, is it going to sound better than a 5.1 traditional surround sound system? No. Um, but if you're just replacing this single unit, you know, yes, you can get another sound bar. It's really not necessary. The sound is good, but if you really do want a cinematic or theater experience, then yes, you will need a separate, um, a separate audio components. And that's pretty much the same with all ultra short those. They're not going to give you a super convincing surround sound system. There's no subwoofer module. There's no you know, large drivers for tons amount of bass in any of these units. So um, that's really not a negative for any of them, but um, there can be a plus that this does sound good on its own. Another great thing is the Tizen software. Um, it's, it's an Android based um, projector system. So it does have their overlay of Tizen, which is if you've had a Samsung TV, you've dealt with Tizen software, it's snappy. Um, I still like LG's software a little better, but Tizen is also a very good system. If you have Samsung products, you're well aware of what that menu system looks like and how to navigate it. Um, overall, the picture quality, um, the contrast, sharpness, color pop, vibrancy, it's very natural, it looks great. The details and clarity, are better um, than any of the units that we've tested or that I tested rather. Um, another great thing is the black levels. This is where I noticed a huge benefit going with the Samsung triple laser over the single um, laser DLP systems is, is the black levels. Um, they get super dark, not, not JVC dark, not OLED dark, you know, don't get me wrong, but they do get darker, they do get blacker, and then they still contain um, a lot of the shadow detail information in the image. So um, again, I do think this is the best ultra short throw that you can get um, comparing it to the other models. Is there others that are a better value? Yes. Um, I've kind of dug into that with the Epson because it, you know, for the price less than this projector alone, you get a screen and the projector and the projector is is awesome. Um, the only negative, you know, you do have to set it a little bit away from the screen to, to get that image right. But if you can get around that, then I think that's the best value. But overall, ultra short throws only. This is the machine that you need to get if it's within your budget. Um, really not too many uh, negatives with this unit. Um, there's you know very little fan noise um I, I never i know chris did have some frame drop issues i've never noticed it there um, gaming is very good on this unit as well it does have a gaming mode um yeah i, I mean i'm super impressed with this unit especially for samsung's first shot out of the gate i think they did an incredible job um, and they have an incredible unit and if you guys would like to purchase this uh, feel free to give us a call at any time to help you out. We have free consultation to help you get the products that you need to finish your home theater job or any AV project around your home. Um, I guess that's it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and my thoughts on the ultra short throw um, shootout. Again, just going from the top, I think we would go Samsung, LG, Epson, and Vava. And if you were just looking for in terms of best value with everything aside, picture quality, how far the projector, the throw, everything like that, I would go Epson, LG, Samsung, Bava. So, all right guys, that's gonna do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the series on the Ultra Short Throw Shootout. This is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.